So did she say it or did she not say it? I was told and I did see a video, a five minute video, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Thomas Halbert was recently interviewed by none other than the one and only Jen Loves Reviews. The pair had talked about some of Thomas's most asked juicy, saucy questions that he's never answered before. The three major things he exposed was Beautycon, Manny Mooch, and Nikki Tutorials. Thomas has discussed in the live stream that there was a video he watched where Nikki Tutorials had said a racial slur, allegedly, but everyone was wondering, where is this evidence? to back up his claim so then you say something Radio publicly time. and then what happens and then and then they get all this influx of questions more more so hate um and then they're just like oh my god we'll, we'll investigate it we'll look more into it and then i get this email from beautycon saying we would like to have a conversation with you on the phone um we need to talk about this so on and so forth and i'm just like okay whatever i before i even get on a phone call with them I get a DM from Ethan on a side account or something being like, I would love to apologize, da 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 da. And this is, I'm just like, interesting, where did this apology shit come from? So now we're at the point where Beautycon has contacted you and said, yeah. you know, Ethan has come called to apologize to you. Yeah. What happens after Ethan's trying to apologize to you? You've had this phone call with Beautycon. Um, so, well, this phone call with Beautycon that's the that's the quintessential thing that happened. So I'm on the phone with someone that I respected at BeautyCon because they booked everything that I've ever done with BeautyCon, right? They and he, right. you know, and I don't judge him as a person. I don't. It, it's not him. It's the company. I get that. But he sat there to, uh, on the phone to my ear, not my face, but to my ear, <laughs> right. said that if either of you want to go to BeautyCon, you both have to apologize to each other. And I told him. Right, th right then there. That's when I realized that's why Ethan DM'd me because I found out that Ethan has a paid opportunity with BeautyCon to go. Oh. Uh, Manny did not want me to succeed in this industry since 2015. He was making it his goal to kind of keep me from getting situated, like brand deals, whatever with benefit. It made sense because in 2015, I wasn't controversial. I was just posting my makeup looks on Instagram and going. Um, and I was losing all these, like all these kind of like important people followers. Like I was like, mm. I'm not going to say who they were, but brands were unfollowing me. It was very confusing. I was like, what's going on? And I never you feel really like it was it. because Manny said something to them. Now, well, at that time last year, it, okay. even a little bit now, honestly, and quite honestly, and it kind of, when I found this out, when I, someone told me about this, it made me infuriated. So did she say it or did she not say it? I was told and I did see a video, a five minute video. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. Let me know what your thoughts are on that in the comments. In other news, Trisha Pastor recently took to her Instagram to kind of give us all the down low and all the tea on her year. She talked about her struggles and her passions that have helped her get through those difficult times. Here's what she had to say. Okay, I look like crap right now, but um, <laughs> I don't mean to get like emotional, but I'm like getting emotional. Like, uh, it's so crazy. We've only gone out two weekends, four shows of the tour so far. So we have 10 more shows left, um, which is actually kind of sad because after this next weekend, we're only going to have eight shows left. I'm going to like, I'm going to be really sad after this tour. I can already tell. Like, I can't wait for the LA show because the LA show is going to be so huge. But I don't want it to come because that's our last show. So I'm like... I don't know. Anyways, I'm just like really emotional right now. Sorry. I'm emotional because this year has been probably like the hardest year. I think personal life and also career wise, obviously on YouTube, I got a lot of hate at the beginning of this year from February to about June. I was just, I mean, I still get hate, but like this crazy amount of hate where I honestly was like, I should probably just quit the internet because the internet obviously hates me. Like I don't want to be on a platform where people hate me and I make people angry. And, um, I really consider just like stopping everything and just trying to figure out a different career path, maybe behind the scenes or something. But what I realized is like, and I remember specifically with the tour and my touring company, 
like all these announcements were supposed to happen at once. So my Glitter Bitch box was supposed to be announced in May. My tour was supposed to be announced in May. And my podcast announced in May. I also had two books I was going to publish. And then I pulled them back from publishing for personal reasons. But fuck it, I'm going to publish those two. And my podcast is coming in a couple weeks. So, and of course, Glitter Bitch, we have the second box coming out Tuesday. So things are thriving. And of course, I am on tour. And I remember the touring company asked me specifically, like, hey, if you're not well enough to do this, if you're not in the right mental state to do touring, we totally understand. Just, you know, let us know so we can pull back everything that we've been working on. And I contemplated. I was like, I don't want to go on tour. No one's going to even show up. No one's going to care. Like, everybody fucking hates me. You know, like, even though I was doing YouTube videos before the fucking vlog squad or whatever, people were like, fuck you, Trish. We love Jason and David, so fuck you. We're not supporting you anymore, but basically. And then, of course, the Nikado thing, which we have resolved those issues, but that obviously gave got me a lot, a lot of hate. The H3 thing, PewDiePie, <laughs> people were coming for me. And in a way, I'm kind of glad that all happened because it made me a lot stronger, but it also made me reevaluate the way I live my life. And um, I'm a selfish person by nature. I always have been. I've always kind of like lived alone. I never really had a lot of friends. Like relationships don't last more than a year. Like I'm a very selfish person when it comes to like what I make a priority. Like it's always been like my career and music videos and just like that. Not to say I, I don't give and want to do well for other people, but it's helped me reevaluate like just how I am in life. And it was a good thing. It was a good self reflection. I'm in therapy now because of it. So all of it kind of happened. I got sober off drugs. So that's good because I was going down a dark path with hard drugs, um, which is something that I haven't really experienced since I was like 19 years old. So it was kind of weird and surreal to be 31, like going back down this dark path of like, trying these hardcore drugs which I didn't even like I didn't even enjoy I was just trying to escape pain and yeah I like to drink sometimes but I definitely don't have a problem with drinking I just drink to like celebrate or whatever but um and it doesn't make me sad it actually makes me happy <laughs> um but anyways the point of all this is like thank you guys so much for like sticking by me and supporting me and like you know no matter what I have this like I have a, like a group of loyal 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 people that have always 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 stood by me and supported me and I appreciate you guys I see you guys like when you guys come out to the show like I can't thank you enough like there's no way I could ever possibly thank you guys for like still supporting me because this is like what I love like I can like performing live and like getting to meet you guys and like putting on a show and being creative like I fucking love this shit it's my it's the reason I started doing music and music videos like I've always wanted to perform these do I need more Botox? <laughs> sorry but it's I've always wanted to perform live like I truly love doing it and like watching I just got the first promo back and we filmed a cool little like video special while we were in New York and Philly and I'm just like so emotional like watching the footage like this is it's it's so fucking crazy that people care and to like come out of their house and support like that means so fucking much to me like it means so much to me you guys don't even understand I am I'm blessed I'm blessed I am like so thankful I don't take anything for granted like I never have, but especially now, I'm just so much more thankful and grateful for you guys. Um, I always have been because I never understood. People always ask me, like, why do people like you? Why do people watch you? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm very messy and all over the place. But you guys have helped me embrace the messy and the weirdness. And uh, in a way, also helped me, like, grow and evolve as, like, a person. And I think that's what's really cool about the community and YouTube and social media is, like, I've been able to change for the better as a person and um, just grow and get to live these dreams of like being a pop star, which is so fun. I feel like Britney Spears every time I go out there, it's so much fun. Like tour is the one thing I look forward to. Like I'm, I just sit here and I just, I'm like, okay, how many more days? How many more days till we go back out? So thank you guys. I just want to thank, say thank you. Like I'm just, I'm very, very, very appreciative. I just know that for all of you guys who have already come out, thank you. I love you guys so much. Um, there's just too many people to freaking name at this point. Uh, but Chicago and Kansas City, we are coming at you guys this Saturday, August 24th. So, and then Kansas City on the Sunday. I'm really excited. I was in Chicago last year and that crowd was so insane. So I'm really excited for Chicago. They're so hype. And then Kansas City, this is my first time going there. So it's going to be amazing. And then right after that, we go to Charlotte and Atlanta. And I haven't really been in the South that much except Texas. So I'm really excited to go there. But um, thank you guys. Like from the bottom of my heart, like thank you. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Like just thank you. I love you. And, um, you know, just keep trying your best. I'll keep trying my best. That's all we can do as human beings. And uh, 
just know no matter how bad life is, you can always turn it around and thrive and make it great. And I think I'm living proof of that because this year was not great and now it's great. <laughs> the first half of this year literally wanted to disappear. I, I didn't, I, there was no purpose or motivation for me at all. Like there was just nothing for me. And now it is the time of my fucking life in all 31 years. I've never had this much fun. I've never been this excited or this passionate for anything in my fucking life. So thank you guys so much. Like it's, um, it's a, it's a blessing and I love you guys. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to make videos, trying to do, keep up with content on all platforms. Cause it's what I love. I love doing it. It gives me again, purpose and motivation every single day. So thank you guys. And I'll see you guys on tour, uh, this, this weekend, Chicago, Kansas City. That's all for this investigation. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.